Can you really retire from the experiential marketing industry? Hey, you may have been executing events for years, working as a tour manager, production manager, and you want to change it up and do something different and pursue your own goals. But you may be asking, is there really life outside of working as an EXP? Hmm. Stay tuned to this video because we're going to dive deep into this subject and I'm going to provide you with a couple options that you can consider if you're looking to transition out of the experiential marketing industry. It is possible, but you got to do it the right way and the smart way. So stay tuned and make sure you watch my video to the end because I'm going to provide you with my list of the top experiential marketing and staffing agencies that you can sign up with today if you're looking to move into an account manager or a staffing manager position. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. See you guys in a minute. Oh yeah, while you at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right guys, it's Jay and we're back and we're going to be discussing transition out of the experiential marketing industry. You may be saying, I love this industry, but I want to mix it up. It's time for me to do something different. What other avenues can I pursue and what can I do? So let's start with my first option, being in but not in. Yes, if you've been a tour manager, living life on the road for years, you know, not having that sense of stability and a place to call home, then you may be having a little itch and you may want to go ahead and pursue, you know, something more stable, but you want to stay you know, working within the experiential marketing industry. Guess what? There are account manager as well as staffing coordinator positions in which you can apply for and ultimately obtain. With your experience working on the road and executing tours, you would be a huge asset to any account manager, staffing coordinator, agency owner, experiential marketing agency who may be looking to fill a position for a coordinator. So, if this is something you are highly considering, I encourage you to go ahead and reach out to any staffing managers, experiential marketing agencies that you have built relationships with over the years and you know, let them know, hey, I'm looking to transition out of being on the road full time. Are there any account manager opportunities in which you have that you may be looking to fill? This will give you the opportunity to still work within the experiential marketing industry at some capacity, stay relevant, travel a little bit, and connect with other EXPs. So, hey, there's always an option out there. Don't get discouraged. And you will have the opportunity to go ahead and have some stability and plant your feet somewhere. So be in but not in and consider an option with an experiential marketing or staffing agency working as an account manager or staffing coordinator. My second option is to pursue your own business. Many EXPs who jump into the experiential marketing industry are doing it with a goal or a plan to build financial freedom or to start their own business. Just because you've been executing events for a while, it shouldn't take away your urge and your desire to still pursue your personal goals. So I always say, go ahead, write things down, put it somewhere visually where you can see it and work towards those goals. If starting your own business or starting a product or service is your aspiration, by all means, don't stop doing it now because you are working full time as an EXP. If you have a goal to ultimately transition out of doing events full time, then go ahead and start allocating more time towards starting your own business. Go ahead and put that business plan together start looking at the numbers, look at the financial aspect and see how much you need to start saving in order to ensure you are ready and equipped to go ahead and make that move full time into starting and running your own business. I've met so many EXPs who started, you know, working events at every capacity and have now transitioned to owning their own business and they're doing exceptionally well. So if they can do it, you can do it. And my last option for you to consider is to pursue a different career path, whether that's earning your degree, whether that's um, going back to school and pursuing another um, career, culinary school. A lot of uh, EXPs, you know, just love 
creative arts and doing things which allow them to you know get creative and relish in that industry go ahead and pursue those career paths working as an experiential marketing professional for some is just a stepping stone to get to where they really want to be and to go ahead and accomplish their ultimate goals for some it may be pursuing a modeling or acting career it may be as i stated before you know pursuing a medical type job industry or working you know full-time in some other service related industry whatever that may be for you don't stop pursuing your goals and you know working to obtain them just because you have started working events as an exp keep those things at the forefront of your mind and use the experiential marketing industry as leverage to go ahead and propel you into your next season of success so any career that you're looking to move into, any service that you want to start, any business, any community-based organizations, nonprofit organizations, working within the experiential marketing industry is great because you'll get the opportunity to learn how to deal with rejection, to work with various personalities, and to engage with various consumers from all walks of life. So I cannot stress the importance of working as an exp and just using the skills that you obtain to assist you in you know navigating through your own personal goals and helping you to go ahead and achieve those things that you already had you know envisioned for yourself for your future life outside of working in the experiential marketing industry is possible I am a living testament to it. I am a author and I'm still pursuing my other business goals. But as you guys can see, I am on tour and executing events as well. So you can, you can do both, but you have to have great time management skills, great organizational skills, and you have to just have the faith to know that you will get it done. And you gotta, like Nike say, just do it. Thank you guys for tuning in for this video. If you enjoyed it, Go ahead and give me a like button and hey, let me know what are some things that you have started to pursue outside of working in the experiential marketing industry? What various career paths have worked for you and what are some, you know, industries which you're looking to go ahead and dive deep into and launch a business or start, you know, a service based industry in. I love to hear from all of you and to read all of your comments. We have the EXP roll call where we are shouting out different comments from um, you guys in my video. So thank you guys all for tuning in. Continue to subscribe to my channel to receive notifications on this as well as future videos. Also, we got Tour Life Chronicles going on. We're talking about, you know, our life on the road, T and I, and the things that we go through as, you know, tour managers and traveling nationwide for the next six months. So if you haven't already, make sure you catch up on those episodes. Tell your friends, family, fellow EXPs to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and watch my videos and get caught up because y'all don't want to miss this. See you guys in the next video. Have a great day.